If you're looking for answers to this question, how do I start a social media business? Stay tuned because I will give you some important tips and ideas to help you start a social media business. Hello, my name is Ashley. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss any new videos. Please give the video a like because that motivates me to make content for you. Thank you very much. Let's get to it. Now, before we get into the tutorial about how to start a social media business, please tell me in the comments section below the video what content you would like to see on this channel. Let's start off. I will now give you some insight about what a social media manager is and what they do. Here we go. Setting up as a social media manager. While there are many ways to make money from home, if you are serious about setting up your own small business, then it is important to do something which will be profitable. Since the field of social media marketing is still growing quickly, this could well be a rewarding career for you in 2023. The overheads are minimal and it's relatively easy to set up and offer your services. Let me now tell you what a social media manager actually does for a client or business. Social media managers don't just post and comment on pictures. Social media managers actually demands a lot of knowledge about marketing and psychology. I am now going to tell you the main roles of a social media manager. A social media manager will create an overarching social media strategy that ties into the business objectives. They will monitor and respond to brand reputation issues. They will influence and enhance brand recognition and reputation by sharing engaging content online. They will network and associate with social media influencers. They will also work to generate leads and sales for the business or brand. I will now tell you about some of the advantages of social media management. For many people, running a social media based business and making money from home is a dream career. You'll get paid to spend time on social media. Your work has the potential to reach many people. You'll always know how you're doing and you should get to be creative. Here are some of the disadvantages of social media management. However, there are pitfalls when it comes to working with mass communications and modern technology. You may get sick of social media. Any mistakes you make could go viral. You may find that you will have to deal with negative feedback. It can be hard to switch off from work. I will now give you some brilliant tips on how to start a social media business. Okay, so the first one is before marketing yourself as a social media manager, you will need to ensure that you understand how to use social media for marketing. Now, for this reason, I would recommend that you do some thorough research and even undertake a social media marketing course first. And if at any point you want to get instant access to further training resources for social media marketing, you can click that link under the video now, head straight through to my partner website, internetbusinessschool.co.uk, and you can get access to the social media marketing consultant online course. Okay, let's now get back to those tips. Here we go. I would suggest that you know something about each of the different social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, Snapchat. Each of the main social media platforms are used in different ways and are suited to different marketing objectives. You'll need to know how to maximize marketing opportunities across different platforms and have an in-depth understanding of the full range of features, such as the analytics and the reporting. I highly recommend that you develop some strategies that work for your clients. Every business will have its own target audience and you will have to adapt your marketing strategy accordingly. The most important thing for working with clients is to ensure that you can adapt their tone when speaking to their audience. I would suggest that you work on building a following. As a social media manager, you will need to be able to build strong followings for your clients. 
This doesn't just mean growing the number of people the content reaches. Instead, it means growing the number of people who engage with the content and respond to it. My next tip for you is to decide what services you will offer as a social media manager. As with any freelance business, it is important to set clear boundaries for your clients so they know what to expect from you and how much they will pay. You want to offer fixed prices for different services or offer a comprehensive package. Let me give you an example. You may want to charge individual rates for each social media account that you manage. You want to make sure you only offer services that you can deliver on. Here is my next brilliant social media tip. Identify what niche you are going to be in. Identifying your niche, such as fashion or finance, will help you to define the services that you will offer and market yourself to desirable clients. It will also help you to feel more organised and cut down on your work stress. Alternatively, you might decide that you're going to focus on a specific social media platform and channel your efforts into being the best at it. For example, it may be TikTok. Let's take a look at my next tip. Create your social media business plan. Having a solid business plan is necessary for any business owner who is serious about making a success of things. As tedious as this process may seem, it will help you to consolidate important things such as how you will keep your business competitive. Okay, here is the next social media tip. Decide on your business name. I would suggest to have a business name which should be professional and reflect the services that you will offer to your clients. It should also appeal to your niche market. You'll also want a name that you can secure a website domain for. The next tip is to develop a marketing plan for your social media business. The best way you can test your skills is to run a successful marketing campaign for yourself to attract clients to your new business. Here is my next tip, plan your content in advance. The number one mistake small businesses make on social media is posting content on the fly. While it may seem easier to spend a little bit of time every day coming up with something to post, this can actually be more time consuming and stressful in the long run. Creating a social media content calendar can help you plan your content in advance and avoid any last minute scrambling. Plus, it's also easier to come up with a mix of content. For example, images, blog posts, infographics and videos when you have some time to think about the content that you want to post. So, of all the things that I have covered in this tutorial will help you start a social media business. Make sure you don't forget to check out the link down below to the Social Media Marketing Consultant online course. This course will help you develop your digital skills and provide you with all the training and the knowledge you need to create a profitable business with social media marketing from start to finish. The link is in the description below, so check it out now. Please give the video a like and hit that subscribe button now so you never miss a video. Please connect on Facebook. You can find the link to the Facebook page in the description under this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I will answer them. Thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video.